Oh my goodness, I had so much fun shopping at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, and I couldn't wait to show you what I've got because if you guys have a TJ Maxx and Marshalls around you, you might wanna go shopping. Hello friends, I went shopping and went a little bit crazy at TJ Maxx and Marshalls because I cannot believe the things that they have there right now. I'm gonna show you what I got. I'm gonna show you what I feel like is really worth the money. There's a couple of things that kind of didn't pan out and kind of weren't really the greatest, but at the same time, I think this is a great way to try high end because sometimes it's even cheaper than drugstore makeup. So if you've been a shopper at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, a lot of people say that they possibly don't have authentic makeup. I have never found that to be the case. I have bought makeup that I have compared at Ulta and Sephora, the box on and the back of whatever it is that I bought. And I've never found it to be, you know, a problem. What, what it is, is it's either going to expire or it's discontinued. And those are the two things. Now, keep in mind that when things say they're going to expire, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to go bad. It might be a little bit more with the liquid products, but powder products I feel like can last a long time. That's just my personal opinion about it. If you feel strongly about it and you don't like that, then, you know, of course, course don't you know use it if it's expired however i found that it kind of just lasts forever so the first thing i'm going to show you is this Lorac pro 3 palette i have never had any of the Lorac palettes before this one i've dipped into once i've done a look at of once this is a very kind of very neutral palette which is like one pop of color in here which is like this little plummy color now i will say that the quality isn't like the best i've ever seen before Lorac was one of the first ones to come out with palettes and they did a really good job of them i do really like a lot of these in here for the shimmers because they're not a super high beam metallic um, and they're just a pretty pretty color that you can wear if you're somebody that doesn't normally go for the really bright metallic colors So they're really a, a soft formula The other thing is that it blends really well and they do have a lot of light colors that I like Because I am so fair toned skin and so that was really fun about it But they do bring these deep colors down here in which I think is great, too so that I think this palette was about ten dollars and I think these retailed originally somewhere in the $40 range and up. So I feel like that was a really good deal. Another thing that I had actually been going to buy from Stila is their color correcting palette. This is full of cream products and I really wanted to try it. I love that they did the divider right here. I love that they have such a great mirror, great packaging, very heavy duty. And I really wanted to try all three of these the orange the peach and the kind of darker peach right here and then they have the yellow and they have the green those are all for canceling out i use the light peach and the peach underneath my eyes um, today to cancel everything out and then also the orange is really good if you're darker skinned um, for that canceling out and then the yellow and the green those are really good if you have super red spots on your face maybe you have a blemish or something like that and then these two down here are powders and this one is a banana powder which is kind of a sheer yellow color and then this one is a sheer lavender the lavender one if you don't know it's used for brightening a sallow complexion so you could actually you know brush through both of those and get a pretty good color on them but i think there's very very nice quality and i was really excited about this this was something that i was so excited about and i picked it up put it down picked it up put it down um but my son was with me and he's like mom you've picked that up three times this is from Pure Cosmetics and the Barbie line. I did see that they had the um, eyeshadow palette as well, but I those are really, really warm colors, so I kind of shied away from there. Again, this is such great packaging. It's just beautiful. And then the Barbie, uh, Pure Times Barbie or Pure Plus Barbie is right there on the, um, kind of embossed on that gold right there. And then the blush inside. So this is the blush palette. It has some very cool tones over on this side. Then you have your neutrals and then you have your warms. And I have just either been, you know, swiping between these colors as two or just going 
all across them. And I think they're just beautiful. They're so pretty. I'm really excited about this. Um, good quality, really good quality on there. On the blushes, you don't pick up a ton. You know, sometimes when you pick up a blush, it's so pigmented that you get too much on it once. And it's not like that with this one. You can build it up and it's really pretty. And I think this one was about $10 too. I'm super excited to find this. This is the Bare Minerals. This is one of the Big Daddy tubs of their mineral makeup, the original. This one is in medium tan. It's a great color for me while I'm self tanning right now, but this is a huge pot of it. And I believe this was $12.99. This one particularly was retailing around $50. The fact that you can get bare minerals there anyway is amazing. And then the fact to find more than almost a triple size of the regular foundation, I was just overjoyed. And I did notice also that they had the packaging that was the one that was just passed for the holiday season. So you might want to look at that one too. Again, you know, they go through the holiday makeup or they go through that kind of thing and then they kind of get rid of it because it was just meant for just that amount of time and oh so good one of the items that i didn't know much about and i'm probably going to booger this <laughs> this is uoma uoma something like that makeup this is sold at sephora i believe and i love this double stick it has the bronzer or the contour it's a pretty color it's not super tan or anything like that you can sheer it out a little bit and it's got that red kind of quality to it that you might really like if you're somebody that is really cool toned like I am. I am wearing this as my bronzer today. You could definitely make this your contour stick as well. And then on the other side is the highlighter. And I'm going to have a hard time with that one because I'm kind of getting, but look at how pretty that highlighter is. So I put that highlighter on underneath my blush today and it just gave such a subtle, pretty glow to my skin. I do have an, a tiny bit of another one on top of it, but it really shows through because it's this creamy formula. And I really like this. It's not a sticky formula. It's not a heavy formula. And I love that it is in the duo. Let me see if I can figure out if there's an actual color on this. I'm assuming that maybe that's what it's called is white pearl because I don't see anything. It just says UB on the end. So I'm not sure about that but it really is very, very nice. Okay, for blush, I came across one of the Becca blushes. I think you're gonna see a lot of stuff come through as far as all of the Becca stuff. I think we're gonna start to see a lot of that because Becca is um, going out of business. This one is in Flower Child, beautiful neutral tone. So it's not too peachy, it's not too pinky. I will say that this is just a little bit powdery. I was noticing that, but it's a baked formula, very soft, and you can build it up. And I want to say that this one was only six dollars as well and these retailed for like over 30 so Excited about that one too. Also from Becca is the hydro uh, I better read this hydro mist soft refresh powder this is really interesting. First of all, packaging is beautiful. So, you know, the, the Becca on the top, but I love that they have the flip in here. And so you're not wasting any of your powder. And this is uh, very different. It is a very light powder, super silky, super finely milled. And when you touch it, it feels cool. I assume that's the hydro powder that they're talking about or the water in the powder. And so I really like this. I have been using it just to set down my makeup in my T-zone since it's a little bit warmer and it doesn't show up any cakiness. It's really pretty. And yeah, I think this one was $10 as well. And I'm going to probably stock up on this because I feel like it's a light enough, airy enough with that little bit of water in it in order for my skin that is so, so dry to not look more dry. So that one was a really good find. And then this, I was shocked about this. This is the Marc Jacobs Accomplice. I think it's called Accomplice. If it's not, I'll put it up on the screen. But it's Accomplice Concealer. This is a concealer that I have had in the past. This one is in light. There's not a ton of colors, but they did have a lot of deeper colors there too. And this is a beautiful concealer because it's extremely hydrating. It's emollient, and yet you can still sheer it out great coverage you don't have to you know put as much on as i did right here but beautiful coverage 
and it doesn't crease on me i do have to i will say i do have to uh set it with setting spray on a sponge or a brush but it doesn't crease on me through the day which i love about it so this is a very high-end very bougie um, concealer and I could not believe that this was six dollars at my TJ Maxx something that I was kind of shocked about the Mac glow play blushes that I like so much these were there this one is in grand this is the the most neutral beautiful blush but the formula of these I have put into videos where I feel like you can't dupe these these are great for um, if you have textured skin that you feel like powders just don't look good on because it's a cream formula It's very moussey. It's very bouncy and I think that it's just gorgeous I said before in that video that I don't feel like there is anything at the drugstore that compares to this And that's why I was so excited to see these this one is called cheek cheeky devil and this is kind of a lighter pink this one probably wouldn't be too good if you are somebody that has you know medium to dark skinned but it's still really pretty and you can build it up and i'm looking forward to wearing it during the winter when i'm so so fair but they had a lot of other colors too so this one is one that i would say if you find it hop on it if you find a color that works really good for you because honestly those are really expensive i want to say they're like 30 plus dollars and i got this i believe i got these at for about 10 it might have been 12 on those but that is such a good price all right last product again is a becca these are her ultimate lipsticks and i really love these these are a beautiful formula i am wearing one of them today and i'll tell you which one i'm wearing it is this one in petal is the one that i'm wearing today this is a, a very emollient formula very soft very satiny um creamy formula i really like it i love the bullet on this the bullet is so pretty and it's got a magnetic closure so you're never going to lose that in your purse if you have it in your purse this next one is called i have such a hard time because these are tiny little letters this next one is called orchid and it's kind of a fusion of mauve and rose. It's not really any sort of a lavender or anything like that. And then the last one is called Sugar. And these, all of these, I just was so impressed with the way that they look on my lips. Love this for a very nude, um, just a nude pink color. So beautiful. So these, again, they had a lot of reds and corals and that kind of thing. I don't wear those colors very much. But to get these at $6, and again, I think they were right around the $26 mark, somewhere in there, such a good bargain. So that is my haul. That is everything that I got. I hope that you did enjoy seeing these. Head on over to your Marshalls or your TJ Maxx if you're somebody that shops there and that you're interested in finding these because I don't think these things are gonna stay around very long. I love everything that I got because I want to see if I can dupe these things for you guys. You know how much I enjoy that. Plus, finding high-end makeup at this kind of prices is just something that is so fun. You've been shopping at TJ Maxx, Ross, or Marshalls lately and picked anything up that I might need to know about? Let me know that in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. I hope that you did enjoy the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos where I show you when I get really good bargains. Thanks so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today. Love you so very much and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye friends.